We usually think of the arts as something to see or hear, but they also help people share creative energy and know-how. That's the goal of a community of young artists and managers called Dynamis, and that's the purpose of an event May 3rd, one night in Wakanda. To talk about the event is the founder and executive director of Dynamis, Chuwani Cottle. Also joining us is an artist in residence with Dynamis, Neo Cabo. Thank you both very much. Thank being you with for us. having us. I want to start with uh, Juwani uh, and the name. This is from the, what, the Greek word for dynamic or something yeah, like that? Yeah, uh, I think the direct translation is power. Uh, but for us, when I was learning in high school about Aristotle, he had this concept of dynamis, which was about potentiality and seeing what something had the capability of. Of, uh, being simultaneously as what it was, so the is and the not yet. And his example was the acorn, seeing something small and uh, weak but that was simultaneously an oak tree. And so for us, working in youth development, uh, we thought, well, it, it wouldn't it be great if young people could see themselves not only as they are, but as they could be. And so that's why the name really resonated with us. Neo, you, you, you came to uh, Boston to study. Originally, you're from South Africa. You went yes. to Berkeley. I'm sure you got a lot out of that. But, I did. <laughs> but in addition to that, what, what do you get from Dynamis? Um, I think for me, what was really important was recognizing that I was that person. Um, even though I, I did go to Berkeley College of Music, it was very, um, sometimes it's tough to learn what you, you know, learn in the class and take it out outside practically and apply it practically. So Dynamis was a very, very practical way that really um, believed in the youth. And that was something I was very, very interested in. And that's how Jay and I sort of met as well. We met at Berkeley. We were working together there. And he told me there's this amazing opportunity for us to work together to empower the youth um, in arts, arts management and artists, and I was like, that's something I totally want to be a part of. Joanna, mm -hmm. you went to Boston Arts Academy. You're a Boston kid. Uh, mm -hmm. I think of you as a kid because I'm a little older than you, but, <laughs> but you know, you've also been a teacher, and you're taking this to another level. Explain mm -hmm. how that works. You know, working as an educator was really important to me, and I did feel sometimes in the school setting that I was kind of trapped by the subject matter I had to teach when I was really wanting to, to get to the core of who they were as people and to really empower young people, which you can do in a classroom setting. But for me, I thought taking it outside the classroom, being the supplemental organization to already move forward the work that's happening at places like Berkeley or Boston Arts Academy was a great opportunity to hone in on the individual student, give them time and space and um, ability to reflect and grow on their own personal journeys in a really one-on-one -on -one intensive way. This has been a news and we're talking with uh, two guests from Dunamis, uh, Neil Gabo and also Juwani Cottle. Uh, Neil, talk about what you're going to be doing in this performance that's coming up in May 3rd. I sure it's only part of the whole event, but yeah. you're doing R&B and Neo Soul. Yes. Um, so One Night in Wakanda is part of our um, YAMS series, which is a youth, young artist mixer series. And what that is, is that we have a bunch of young people come together, meet people that are in the industry, um, that they're interested in working with just to network with those people and we do that by providing this opportunity of bringing music into it bringing acting into it um, and bringing this question that says how or where does my culture intersect with my art and that's the whole point of one night in Wakanda so we'll be putting on this production almost if you will and um, after that we will be having this discussion part of it which says okay how do we taking what we just saw, how do we bring that into our art when we go out and perform and sing and act and bring that all together? Because I am someone who is from South Africa, who is very grounded in my culture. Um, it's, an, it's, it's very important for me to share my culture and my art. Different people answer that question in different ways. Juwani, uh, you're from Dorchester, so what does your culture mean exactly? I'm first generation here, and so I grew up uh, most of the, the conflicts me and my mother had. Um, I noticed later in life really were cultural. Um, and so there was always this kind of tension between uh, my culture as an American, my culture as a West Indian American. And so this kind of helped reconcile, the, uh, unpacking this question kind of helps reconcile what that can feel like uh, going through that tension. We're just really happy that the Box Center sponsored this to be a part of Art Week so we could really reach a lot of people who might be dealing with this issue and just provide a space to explore it in a fun way yeah. um, through Neo's performance, through her expertise, through her experience, um, and then go from there. Uh, Neo, uh, you know, rhythm and blues, Neo soul, uh, it sounds like a, a, a American black music, but mm -hmm. you're from South Africa. So yep. what does this mean for you getting grounded in your culture? I think for me, it's um, 
it's an opportunity to take what I've learned at home and bring and, and collaborate it with what I've learned here. Um, when I was actually in South Africa, I was originally classically trained. And when I came here, it really gave me the opportunity to explore what jazz was about, to explore what R&B was about, to explore what Neo Soul was about, and having the opportunity to mix those different things. And so I sing in my language, for example, which is Kosa. And, um, you know, people are so drawn in by that and drawn in by the phonetic of it and what it sounds like. And then it gives me the opportunity to share a little bit about myself and my culture in South Africa, which is what I love to do the most. Mm -hmm. uh, Jordi, what about um, how these mixer uh, create energy for people to think of new things, try new things, or, or just meet people? Yeah, I'm really bad at that. Like, I, <laughs> I, I'm really not good at networking. It like sets me on end, and I get really shy and nervous there. And so for us, it was important to think of, well, how can we do this in a way that's empowering and relaxed and still focused? Mm -hmm. So we always build a question around these mixers. This one is about the intersection between art and culture. And so we're hoping that between the performance um, and that one, it really is energizing. And you know, sharing ideas, meeting new people, finding new ways forward is energizing. And we're really hoping that people take that um, on that night and move some new work forward. And, and finally, you want to give a little more detail. This is going to be on May 3rd yes. at the Nonprofit Center, Thursday, your cell May station, 3rd, I think. Yep, 7.30 p.m., 15 bucks. You yes. can find out more information about us as an organization, about this event on our website, Do Um Yeah, we're really excited. We hope to see people there. Right. Thank you both very much for being with us. Thank you for having us.